Hey people, this is Waylon. I'm here in the shelter. The couple of the kids are out here playing Hot Wheels, and the other one's in bed because he's got school tomorrow. It's Halloween night. All the trick or treaters. We shut the porch light out about eight. So I'm down here in the basement working on the refuge. Uh, you probably saw this stack of brick here we got earlier today. I carried all this down and stacked it from upstairs. This is 56 cap block. They're 33 pounds a piece. And they look like this. I am disassembling the refuge. I am pulling the metal basement jacks out and replacing them with 2 by 4s like this. Which will nail into this solid 4 inch thick. 2x4 roof on the refuge and getting them all square. Uh, the, since the refuge is going to be these cap blocks dry stacked, this will help uh, support them to keep them from rattling apart in case the ground shakes. So uh, this refuge is going to have four to six roughly 2x4s, uh, not only supporting the roof, but will anchor into the roof on the refuge. This is actually what is called a core shelter. And anybody can build one for next to nothing, no matter where you live. And if you live in an upstairs apartment on the second floor, I wouldn't recommend this. Because you're going to fall through the floor. But uh, if you have a storage unit close to your house, just rent a storage unit with a concrete slab. Buy your bricks and build you a core shelter. And do not tell nobody what you're doing. This is just a... Uh, 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 structures made out of stacked dense material to uh, shield radiation uh, this shelter has a four inch concrete roof on it with a one inch of plywood and it ain't thick enough really for nothing like that it's good for storms and, and uh, if you want to sleep where it's dark and quiet but as far as fallout goes we need a lot more shielding the walls are, are eight inches solid concrete this where the door is and this over here are exposed on the outside that's why we have all this stuff in the bunk bed for extra shielding and a lot of stuff on this wall for extra shielding but uh i've had the case water stacked on top of here but uh i plan on flipping the cap blocks up where instead of being four inches thick They'll be stacked like this. So we'll have eight inches on the on the uh, core shelter, four inches on the roof of concrete for a total of 12 inches of concrete. And as far as wood goes, we have an inch on the ceiling and four inches here. This is four inches of wood. So that's a total of five inches of wood and 12 inches of concrete which is uh still not enough but i'm going to stack all these cases of bottled water that i have on top of the shelter also so we'll have about a foot of water 12 inches of concrete and about five inches of wood which will be pretty pretty good and plus these walls out here are going to be uh, eight inches thick on this refuge because we're getting rid of the cinder block and the cinder block are going to come out here where these 56 cap block are at that i carried down here today and we're building another exterior room off of this with a pre-hung door like this steel entry door that we can secure to keep dust out but this is this room is probably only going to have a tin covered 